Dollar dollar bill, y'all. I'm rich. Hey, y'all. Welcome to the vlog. My name is Ajna. If you don't know me already, and welcome to Vlogmas. Actually, I'm lying. I, I don't think I'm gonna be a participant in Vlogmas. Y'all just gonna get videos in December. Cause the way my consistency is set up <laughs> the way that i don't be having things to do every single day is set up the way i don't feel like yapping on camera every single day is set up um yeah so with that being said hi welcome <coughs> i figured i'd pick up my camera today because i got plans today um it is like 8 30 in the morning <laughs> shocker for me because y'all know this is the time i be asleep but my sleep schedule been kind of off lately, um, primarily because uh, this daylight saving times has been saving a lot of light. So when it gets like 4.45, it feels like 11 p.m. So I'll be sleepy. <laughs> and also like, I've been working on videos, so like my sleep schedule has been off, so I've been napping throughout the day. So I've literally been up probably since, I wanna say since 10 p.m., but I feel like I might've gotten up between 10 and 2, 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. is when I woke up. I know that's like a large gap to be like, girl, I can't remember what time it was. But I just know I've been up since it was dark outside. So, yeah. Um, right now, um, I'm about to be cutting me some coupons because Ralph's be sending your girl coupons. And I make sure that I use them because I like to save money. Um, <coughs> and I plan on going to Target because I got a few things I need to pick up. And I was like, you know what, let me just pick up this camera too and start off busy. So, here you guys are, here with me. Um, and what else? This week, I have some things to do. Actually, I have a premiere that I gotta work. Mm, yeah, it's a premiere. And then, I wanna get my hair braided. And yes, I'm gonna be doing it myself. Cause I need something done to this, you know. I need to transform into a bad bitch. Oh, and also I need to be putting on my Christmas tree today. <laughs> I know if you guys been following me, if you guys been watching my channel, you guys know that I had my Christmas tree up since last December, all the way up until September. Um, and the only reason why I took it down was because my floors got changed and updated. So when I cleared everything out of my living room, I was like, let me just take down my Christmas tree it's an excuse to actually take it down now but had I not got my floors changed it probably would still be up at this corner so that's another thing I plan on doing today is after going to the stores put that bitch right the book back up and you know add a little holiday cheer and let's dazzle in here so yeah <laughs> all right y'all I am doing an exceptionally good job of coming to get what I came to get and leaving. Um, I'm about to head out right now. I started wasting a little time because I started looking at pajamas. I wanted to have matching pajama sets, but I ain't got no nigga to match with. <laughs> I'm getting me for Christmas. I don't care. Not the song throwing shade. <sighs> Y'all, I'm so tired of seeing people outside of like Target, Walmart, the grocery stores asking for signatures and asking for money. Like, get out my face. I just want to be able to go in and out the store without being bothered. And I know it's like, oh yeah, just ignore them. But it's like, I feel rude like ignoring them. But it's like, leave me alone. We alone. And girl, food car. Girl, you might want to walk a little faster. I don't want to run over your little tennis shoes. Um, yeah, we about to head over to. Actually, I'm gonna stop by the recycling um, spot first because I got some bottles in the back, and I'm trying to get my little change for that. Wet tat tat tat. Bitch, go black. No, I'm just stop. Let me stop. Um, anytime I have my hat on, I'll be feeling like Joe from you and low key. I think I'll like live down the street and I really should just like pop up on him. I was doing too much, huh? Yeah. Christmas and 
It's gonna be you. <laughs> People are like, bitch, if you don't get off the property. Like, what? It's not a problem when you're at mine. But, uh, let me chill. Let me, let me chill. <laughs> let me chill. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna scrap all of that because last thing I need is him to watch my videos and see what I said. <laughs> but who's he? Oh, did I pass the Dollar dollar bill, y'all. I'm rich, bitch. You know, recycling and getting a little change for it. That shit add up. I usually have like a, a, um, kind of just a regular trash bag full of bottles, cans, or whatever. I don't let it get too outrageous because I ain't got enough space to have all that. And I don't want to put um, an extra garbage can in my home just for cans. I just put a little trash bag, put it underneath the sink. Once that fill up. <laughs> take it down the street but um let's go to Ralph's shall we so we won't be hungry Yay. guess who's back in the motherfucking hell well 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 <laughs> so I'm back just left Ralph's um I was tired of my stomach touching my back. So I had to make sure like, I went to go get some of my snacks and some regular food to feed the soul. And you know how that go. So while I'm flowing, I don't know. But right now, here we going. That don't rhyme and it's okay. But today will be a great day. Hey, hey, nay, nay, what's up? Okay, let me stop for real. Like. I'm a rapper on the low. I don't know if y'all know that, but like, <laughs> I just be flowing. Anyway, so I'm gonna show y'all, ooh, <coughs> damn. I'm gonna show y'all a few of the things that I got from Target, um, which is only like minor things, which I was so proud of myself because even though I was like walking down a couple of the aisles, I was like, stay focused. You came in here for paper towels and tissue and a diffuser. I got two other things that I needed, but that was it. Um, but when I was um, looking for my diffuser in, in the candle aisle, um, I picked up this rustic Palo Santo. It's like a diffuser. And I got this because, one, I saw it and I was like, oop, I've been wearing my house to smell like Palo Santo. And the Palo Santo sticks that I have, of course, if you have some, like it doesn't burn long or like a continuous burn. I want it to smell like Palo Santo like the whole day um, instead of me keep continuously like burning sticks. So I wanted to try this, see what this is uh, giving. So yeah, I picked this one up. And then if you guys watch some of my other vlogs, I had bought some diffusers, um, like the essential oil diffusers from TJ Maxx, and they were not working. I don't know if I was doing something wrong, which I don't think I was doing nothing wrong. I read the directions, exactly what it said, and it just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I took it upon myself to buy one from Target, which is the Project 62 one. And I thought this was really cute because you know my home is like gray aesthetics and I like the you know cement look element so I wanted to try this out and hopefully you know third time's a charm so I'm gonna hope that our target give me my money worth and it's gonna work because I still have like um, essential oils that I bought last year during the holiday season um, to give it like the home like a holiday smell like Christmassy smell I think it's like peppermint vanilla some other stuff but yeah and then of course I got me some Black Radiance True Complexion in the color Banana. And then, like, y'all know I don't know how to do my makeup or whatever. And I was like, maybe it's because you ain't got no beauty blender, man. You just be putting shit on and blending with your fingers. And this is not an arts and crafts um, paint, paint with numbers as a kid. Like, get yourself a beauty blender. So I got this from Elf. I was like, let me not do too much to get the, you know, $20 version. I'm cool with a $6 version. So that's what I did. I was proud of myself that I got in the house before noon. Look at me being productive. I made three stops today. Who am I? Who is she? She is me. Um, I'm actually kind of tired though and I really want a nap because I have been going since last night or really, 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 really early this morning. But I kind of want to go to the beauty supply store now so that way I don't have to go later in the week. And I feel like the longer I wait, the longer I'm not gonna go. So I'm about to eat me something because I'm hungry. And I think we're gonna go. Or we're gonna go. All right, all right, all right. So I'm in the braiding hair section. 
And I usually get the Zuri 3x5 Hollywood braid, which is this one here in 60 inches. But I see that they have some 48 inches and I kind of want to get it shorter because I want to put curly hair at the ends, like human hair. But I kind of want to stick with what I know just in case. And then I also wanted to try a different braiding hair, but then I'm kind of like, I don't want to try one and then my hair start itching. Because I would hate to have done a full head and I need to take them out. And I think Expressions is also another good brand, but their bundles is way thinner than the other one. And the um, Zuri one, is this a Zuri? I think it's very, it is, no, it is very, um, this is the hair I've been using for all my ponytails, so I'm like, let me just stick with what I know, I think I got like four packs of one B, which should be enough, and then if anything, I can come back, and if anything, I got emergency hair at the house, so I got like one or two bundles on it, I think, but I, the crumbles that I had in my hair and took it down, so if this ain't enough, we just go pull it off the bag. Ghetto! But, alright, we done secured another bag. <coughs> I'm gonna need to secure my health bag because I need this cough to stop. <laughs> At this point, do I have asthma? She got asthma. She got asthma. Um, but I'm sleepy. I'm ready for a nap. But I told myself to put my Christmas tree up. But I think I need a nap and then put my Christmas tree up. And I had a conference call around 6, I think. It's only 2 o'clock right now. Ooh. Ooh, I'm tired. Like, you know, to the point that you want to just, like, take a nap in the car. But I might as well just get out of the home. Oh, and my engine light then came on. And I'm like, I know y'all are lying because... I just went to go get my car service and got an oil change. So what 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 could this be? What could this be? So I think I'm about to stop by them and then go home. Y'all let me get let, let me get up out of um this goddamn village. Oh, can I oh I'm stuck. Yeah. Go all the way. All the way straight through there or through there? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, definitely about to put some shit. Okay, so he said go this way. Derecha. Okay, okay, I see that. Oh, 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 we in a shot. I should just pull in and see if they can fix my car. Anyway, um, yeah, they got me fucked up. So my engine light is on. I just got an oil change last week. And they talking about it's 275 just to get a diagnostic. <laughs> just for y'all to put the damn computer chip to see what it's gonna say? Absolutely not. So I'm gonna just ride on this bitch, which I know I'm not supposed to and I shouldn't, but he said as long as my light not flashing, I should be okay. He said the light's not flashing, so it's not anything severe. So I'm like, okay, cool. Um, can I go this way? Uh, which way am I going? Ah, oh, oh, fuck it up. Ah! Which way am I going? Okay, see, bitch. Okay, let me get my thoughts straight. Okay, so he said it's going to be 275 for a diagnostic. And I'm like, nigga, I just need you to check with the little computer thing. But he was like, oh, because that could mean anything. So based on what the code says, they would have to like you know do what they do and inspect it and then figure out exactly what's wrong with it but i'm like 275 just for y'all to fucking plug it into a computer no so there's a dealer not dealership um what are you doing there is some shops that are closer to me who changed my battery and did other stuff before and i'm pretty sure for them to just check why my engine light is on with the same computer programming it's gonna be way cheaper than 275. So call me a cheap ass bitch if you want to. But I'm not paying 275 for y'all to just figure out what the hell's wrong. Now, granted, if where I go, 
decides that um, depending on what the pricing is or what's wrong with my vehicle, then that's what's gonna help me determine if I decide to go back to my dealership and get it fixed or just get it fixed where I'm at. My car is out of warranty, so at this point, it's kinda like, do what you need to do. And a lot of times they're like, oh my God, like your dealership specializes in uh, fixing your specific vehicle. As long as you ain't going to no janky, you good. And I also need to find <coughs> my car brand um, a specialist. Cause you know, of course if they're a specialist, then they still work on these type of vehicles without taking it to the dealership. The dealership be taxing. I think when I wanted to get an air filter for my car, cause my car needed an air filter, they kept saying like, oh my God, you need a new air filter. Oh, but I haven't been slanted this whole time. Yeah, y'all probably was, but oh well. I'm trying not to hold it. Cause, you know, my car ain't tinted, so I, I don't want the cops to be like, why are you holding the camera? Similar to holding the phone, mind your business. Y'all got a whole computer dash in the front of y'all thing, tip tapping on it all day. What is he doing? Anyway, what was I saying? Um, Audi specialist. I was talking about the specialist and oh okay now I remember what I was saying I was talking about my air filter so I think maybe I'm gonna say a year or two ago probably a year and a half more like two because I know the first <laughs> the first time I did I was like no um I don't need to change it it was my air filter so they was like oh you need to change your air filter blah 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 that that's gonna cost you like damn near $300. I was like, they showed me the filter and I was like, nah, it's good, put it back. So they put it back in my car and I was like, all right, well, you know, it's recommended that you get your air filter changed. And I was like, but for $300, no. So I was riding dirty on that bitch for a minute. And then before I got this oil change, <coughs> which maybe that has something to do with the light, I don't know. Um, before I got the oil change like a week and a half ago or like a week ago, um, I made sure to change my air filter. Now tell me why. The air filter itself was only $25. I went to AutoZone and got one for $25. Even if I was to buy it from my dealership, it would have been like max $50, like 30, 35 or something like that was the price of the damn filter, the air filter. So you mean to tell me that y'all was about to charge me an extra $200, $250 plus tax and all this extra bullshit just to unscrew eight screws and change my air filter. When I found out that how easy it was to change my own air filter, I was like, y'all gotta be kidding me. Now, I didn't I didn't change it. You know, I was there when it got changed. The dude at uh, AutoZone was like, oh, I'll help you because it had like a special screw, a special screwdriver for the screws that's uh, covering it. They was trying to rob me, y'all. They was trying to rob me. And you know, it's very important that us women learn <coughs> how to um, do like simple things on our vehicles to save ourselves some money because they definitely be trying to get over on your ass. I would say fellas too. Like fellas, if you don't know how to change a tire or you know, do little simple things, learn because there's a lot of things that we could be saving money on. And to the fact that I save over 200, 200 or 300 dollars by changing my own air filter, are you fucking kidding me? Robbery. So, you nasty motherfucker. I'm glad my car wasn't pulled up before he spit out the window. Anyway, but yeah, I, I just wanted to pop back in because I remember my thought. Um, everybody just really, really needs to be on their P's and Q's for this. Like I said, it is a very, very, um, high rated event and there'll probably be some celebrities in the building as well. Um, so in terms of uniform, ladies come here and make up ready. We're asking everyone to wear their hair in the middle part with a low sleek back bun, natural glam makeup and red lips. Um, if you could do me a favor, only because the client is a little back and forth between the lip option, if you could just bring your red lip on site with you, um, and then you can put it on in the bathroom if they do want you to wear, wear a red lip. Other than that, hair and makeup should be ready. The only thing you'll have to do is put your red lip on on site. Everyone should wear black, comfortable shoes. Ladies, if you choose to wear heels, please note that you're going to be standing up the majority of the time. So make sure that your heels are comfortable for you to stand up in. Other than that, we are good to go. So thank you so much for your time. 
and then um, we'll just look forward to seeing your check in tomorrow when you arrive on site. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right. All right, conference call is over. All right, guys, so welcome back. You see the mooding? Uh, did I guess to put up my Christmas tree last night? No, you know what I did? I took a break, I took a nap, woke up from my conference call, and then went back to sleep, and then woke up, and then arrived in Vogue, in Vogue, <laughs> in Vogue. So right now, we're in the heading and disclosed location because we're on our break. But right now, where are we at? Where are we at, Kia? Where are we at? Where are we? We are at the best man. Oh yes, the, the best final chapter. Final chapter premiere. Can you see this, baby? Your stuff. VIP. We're the models for the day. Period. Vogue. Vogue. You better. Oh. <laughs> You better swing. Wait, show the body of the hair though. Okay. Wait. Show the body of the hair. Do you see the silhouette of the hair just swinging, swinging, swinging? You better, you better. Yeah. <laughs> huh? Yeah, we're about to go find a spot to take pics. Okay, so we have a limited amount of time. We have 10 minutes to take photos. 10 minutes? Yes. Ugh. That's it. Maybe 14. Maybe 14? Oh, shit. Wait a minute. I wish the champagne wall was filled. The champagne is cute. Actually, it is actually a great angle. So. There was champagne all along this wall, but it's, everybody took them off right now. But yes. This is the champagne wall. It's Kiki. And here is where they're gonna do the performance with Genuine and 112. What? What happened? I 
I was asking if he was not freezing. It's pep coat season. <laughs> What did you say? It's puff coat season. Oh. Cause it's cold out here. What? <laughs> she got a hoodie, I don't. <sighs> What's your name? Say hi to our personal escort. Hi. Jed. Jed? Jed. Yeah, we got we got security. So run up and get done up. <laughs> no, but that ass like. <laughs> yeah, this is sketchy lane. Oof. Huh? You said nobody trying to get got over here. Light the street up. Light the street up. It's dark. What? Wait, are you no, sure? It's, no. No, it's, it's a little further down. It's further down? Yeah. Past this truck. It says 1400 over the opening. Okay, yeah, we see a car coming out. Oh Lord. Don't knock our car in. They, they, they could have got us a Prius <laughs> to get them to come this way. You need a ride. <laughs> he like, yeah. <laughs> he like, if it's offered. Cause this cold as fuck. Yes, I did. Oh, you did? Yep, I finished the fourth. Finish. Wait, third, fourth season? No, fourth season. Okay. So I'm caught up. Not true. Okay. Not a content creator and a binge watcher. A binge watcher. <laughs> yep, CC forced me to watch did you like Stranger it? Things. It was cool. It definitely was a kid show. And she kept getting scared, and I was like, girl. This is not scary. <laughs> Where's your car? Right here. Okay. <laughs> Mikey does it? Mikey does it. Do y'all hear this bullshit? I know you're wondering. <laughs> Why aren't you running out the building, Ajene? The fire alarm is going off. You know how often this fire alarm goes off and it's always a false alarm? I decided to, you know, look out my balcony, see what's going on, seeing if people are actually running down the stairs because there was an overcom speech saying, hey, evacuate. Seen a lady carrying her baby in a damn car seat down the stairs just to look to the right and see security. Let me know it's just a false alarm. It's just the fire drill. Just to check my email and realize, oh, there's gonna be a fire drill today. I'm tired. I was woken up out of my sleep to a damn alarm. I'm cross-eyed. Can't you tell? Um I'm very much annoyed. Oh, are we done? Are we done? Cause I'm not done ranting. Cause I didn't ruin my goddamn sleep. I'm irritated and I didn't want to be irritated, but I'm so sleepy. I didn't go to bed till like seven, seven or eight this morning and it's 11. They could have held off on this, but hopefully they leave me alone. And I could go back to sleep. False alarm. You know, this, this building alarm goes off so much that it's to the point where if I don't see smoke, smell smoke, my feet isn't on fire. Um, we, we, we kind of ignore the alarms. And it's kind of sad because it's like something really could be happening and we wouldn't know because the alarms go off so much because somebody might have accidentally set it off just from like, one of the doors or you know it, it it's kind of sensitive so it's like it'll go off soon 
but this was going on for quite some time to the point that I was able to get up, go get my camera, turn it on, I'll let you guys know why I'm annoyed. But since it's off, let me go back my ass back to sleep. Let me go back to sleep. Hey y'all. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like so excited right now. It's probably because I'm about to put on my Christmas tree. <laughs> Okay, let me calm down. Um, so I'm about to put on my Christmas tree. I'm also about to be a real ass bitch. Yep. About to, and tell y'all that it's literally been like five days since I last vlogged. The last thing you probably would have seen. I'm so yellow right now in this light. I need new lighting. Should I turn one off? It's yep, it's daytime. It's like eight in the morning. Have I been asleep? No, I woke up yesterday around the time it was dark. So giving 4, 45, 5, 6 o'clock-ish. But I feel like I need some light. But anyway, um, and that's because my sleep pattern has been off. I've been on my lady friend for the last five days, four or five days. And that bitch like really just like put a damper in my mood. So when I got back home from the best man premiere, I wanted to put up my tree, but then I kind of was like not in the mood and I kind of was tired. And I don't know what else I did, but for the last couple of days I've been like bed rest. Cause I was like, oh no, mm -mm. mother nature is fucking me up. So I'm just gonna lay down until I feel better. <laughs> but I feel better now. <gasps> I was been, I was been, what? I have been ignoring everybody all week. My phone has been on do not disturb. Um, I told myself that I was gonna get a man for Christmas and I met a man at the best man premiere and I've been ignoring this man because I didn't wanna talk to nobody. <laughs> and I just really hate that about like, I'm hearing it because I be like so upset with the world for no reason and just be moody and irritated and there's just times I don't feel like talking but <laughs> guess what else? <laughs> Yeah, I noticed that I've been talking, I ain't been coughing. <laughs> Maybe that period was a cleansing. Um, but yeah, anyway. I'm about to just start putting my tree together. I don't know if I'm going to give you guys any like BTS because of my last year of Vlogmas. Um, really got into the nitty gritty of me putting this together. Um, I'm going to try not to keep it up all year this time. So I'm gonna get myself maybe till February to take it down. But if it stays up past February, then it just stays up past February. <laughs> but I'm about to get started on putting this up. I'm about to watch some of my favorite YouTubers vlogmas. I was currently watching my own vlogmas from last year. And then I also was editing another video, which is why it's now daytime. <laughs> so uh, yeah, enough of the yapping. Let's get the tapping. It's feeling good. And let's get the street up. <laughs> I know I can y'all but she really was riding with me for nine months straight like this is really like my baby <laughs> i might have to take her down earlier than i did last year but you know we just gonna see if the vibes is vibing she's staying if i feel like you know it's time to revamp and do some new things then she's gonna come down but for right now she's up um like i said i pretty much did the same thing i did last year same ornaments same star, same skirt. The only thing <clears throat> I haven't done yet is put up the like curtain lights 
and the only reason why i haven't put that up yet is because there's two of these blinds that's missing i need to make to this man to come fix those um before i put them up and then also i don't even know if i'm gonna put them up because i know last year when i did put them up they were dimming out pretty quickly if i'm if i'm sounding funny it's because i got my little girl in for my um what is it my retainer long story anyway um yeah <clears throat> but yeah uh they were dimming out last year and i was like i pay all this money 16 dollars for you to dim out <laughs> you cute when i first turned it on but i wanted to be on throughout the night but uh, i put my garland back up for my countertop a little centerpiece my wreath that i made last year which i also need to like post the diy video um this year that could give me something to post for a vlogmas but if you guys don't remember what it looked like or if you're new here uh, i'm trying to find the switch so i can turn it on oh my god there's i put lights on these oh there we go oh, oh there's a battery oh it does <laughs> So, this is what my wreath was looking like. So I had added some lights to it so it could match the um, garland around my countertop and my tree. Um, and if you guys don't know, my friend is a candle maker. So this is her bare naked aura candle and it smells so good. <gasps> Ooh, why do I look like that? You know what, I've been burning it. It's, it's down to the nitty gritty. But I need to burn the rest so I can get my crystal out of it. But yes, um, I should light my tree up right now so that way y'all can see it lit. So let there be light. Abracadabra. Ah. So this, I mean, of course, like when the lights is off, it'll look way better than this. But for those that are new here, this is Tree Tree. <laughs> we still gotta give her, give her a name, but um, yeah. I got my diffuser going, so it's, you know, smelling real holiday-ish up in here. Very minty, Christmassy, piney, lemony, zesty. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to just end this vlog here. You know? Let me stop chit-chatting and yapping because I've sounded funny because I got the damn retainer in it and it's scratching my lip. But um, if you guys have retainers, make sure you wear them so you won't be like me. And your teeth is going back to where you started from. Wear your retainers. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. <laughs> And until next time, I'll...